Hi, my name is Lori and I've been working with Photoshop for over 25 years. Over the years I've learned a lot and I'd like to help you figure it out so you can become the best creative you possible. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new content. For the second video in our Photoshop basic series, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up blank document presets for your most commonly used projects. I do a lot of sublimation and I have several items that I'm constantly uh, having to look up the size or uh, trying to figure out how big should I make this. I can't remember what I did last time and whatnot. So I've set up a few do blank document presets and I'm going to show you how to set those up in Photoshop. Saves a bit of time and uh, It'll help you with your workflow immensely. So I have Photoshop open. I don't have any documents open yet. I'm just going to go up into File and hit New. So that brings up a panel that shows you all different uh, sizes that you can choose from. It shows you most recent items that you've set up. Uh, it gives you fo common photo sizes, print sizes, art and illustration, web, mobile, film, and video sizes. There's also a saved section. <clears throat> so you see I've set up four uh, blank document templates. I have one for a license plate, a lunch bag, a photo pillow, and a pop socket. I'm just going to delete those now because I'm going to show you how I set those up. So if you go back into recent, over on this side it says preset details. So we're going to start off with the sublimation lunch bag. The size I need for sublimation lunch bag is 11 by 13. 11 inches. So you hit the drop down. It gives you pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, pitas. We're going to choose inches. So we're just going to go 11 by 13. I always make sure that if you're going to print this out, you set it to at least 300. 300 is my standard RGB color background contents uh, transparent normally don't color manage and square pixels so what you need to do there's a little icon here with an arrow pointing down you just click on that and that brings up the save document preset panel and it has all the same information that we just entered in we're just going to give it a name now I'm just going to call it lunch bag and hit save preset so under our saved items, we have lunch bag, 11 by 13 inches at 300 pixels per inch. Okay, we're going to do another one now. Um, just click your save button. Enter in the name of the template that you're setting up. This one is license plate. I'm not sure if it's a C or an S. It doesn't matter. So for a license plate, the area that we want to print on is 12.25 inches by 6.25. A license plate for sublimation is actually 12 inches by 6 inches exactly, but we want a little bit of a bleed, so it's a quarter inch bleed there. And all the same information, 300 pixels per inch, and everything down bottom is the same. So we hit save preset, and we have that one. So we're going to do our next one. This one is for a photo pillow. I do uh, a lot of photo pillows. Pillows that I have are 16 by 16 inches. Uh, I have an A3 size printer, which allows me to print uh, 11 by uh, roughly 17. So I print out a square print that's 11 by 11. I cut it out and then I put it in the center of the pillow. It looks lovely. So we'll go 11 inches by 11 inches and we'll hit save preset okay we'll do one more a couple more and uh, next one is a photo phone grip the, the trade name for those are pop sockets but i try not to use that term because it is a copyrighted name of a product so for those the width on those is 1.65 inches by 1.65 inches at 300 dpi. Hit save preset. So 
I think they're roughly about 1.56, the circle that uh, you put the photo on, on, your, on the actual foam grip. Uh, give it a little bit of extra just for a bleed area. So we see we have this saved. Looks like they're saving them alphabetically. So let's put more. Next one we're going to do is a mouse pad. The template you need for a mouse pad is 9 inches wide by 7.5 inches wide. Save the preset. Okay, a couple more here to do. Another thing I do quite a lot of are the Benelux Christmas ornaments. And Benelux is just the shape of the ornament. It's a very ornate shape. So we'll just call it Benelux, B-E-N-E-L-U-X, Christmas ornament. Okay. So the dimensions for that template is 4 inches wide by 2.83 Oops, <clears throat> four inches by 2.83 inches. Save that one. Hit your save button again. The next one I have here is for a car charm, a sublimation car charm. I don't have the dimensions for that in front of me, but I will be adding that to my Photoshop uh, at a later time. I just wanted to show you how this is done. Now, when you go to, let's just click out of here, let's close this. When you go to set up a new document, let's say I'm getting ready to make a, a lunch bag. I'll go into File, Open, oops, not File Open, sorry, File, New, and instead of looking in this section here, because I might have opened up 50 different d documents that have nothing to do with the ones I do most commonly, I'll just go into Saved. Now, I want to bring up the template for a lunch bag. Double click. And there you go. You got your document open. It's 300 DPI. It's 11 wide by 13 high. Now I can just get to work and start creating my template for my lunch bag. I hope this helped. Thank you.